On college campuses, females are three times more likely to be sexually assaulted. And in the case of LSU, they've spent the last year in headlines for not properly handling sexual assault complaints. Reporter Haley Kennedy is in the studio to explain how students are actively protesting for change. Thanks, Allie. Students at LSU are tired of the statistics growing within sexual assault cases on campus. Instead of focusing on female safety measures, students and outreach programs feel as though we need to address the real root of the problem. The Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network reported that every 68 seconds an American is sexually assaulted and only 25 out of 1,000 perpetrators end up in prison. That is the culture that LSU has created. A rape culture where predators are victimized and survivors are villainized. After LSU removed the French Studies Chair due to allegations of ignoring six sexual misconduct reports, LSU students and staff protested the ongoing sexual violence that happens on campus. When multiple women come forward about a man who was already arrested for rape, there should be no hesitation. Get him away from students. In the hallways of Hodges, survivors stated that they had to strategize escape routes while also determining the best weapon that they could use while simply just walking to the bathroom in the middle of the school day. LSU recommends walking with confidence, avoid walking at nighttime, and keeping the LSU Shield app open for safety. However, that is not enough, leaving 75% of LSU students to feel unsafe while walking at nighttime. I'm tired of the stuff that we have to put up with. Not only do I have to worry about being black, but I also have to worry about being a woman, and I think that's sickening. Tanya Rao, the vice president of social change at STAR, says that we need to focus the conversation away from safety measures and bring it back to the root of the problem. I think anytime you hear someone say, let's talk about female safety measures, I would support anyone in saying, let's shift the conversation and talk about why not to rape, how to respect a person's boundaries, how to respect other person's bodies, how to respect the community that you live in, the campus that you're a part of and why sexual violence is such a problem in our community. Let's talk about that. The time for change is now, and it begins with creating an environment of open conversation. If you have experienced sexual abuse or know someone who has, resources like STAR will greet you with open arms and get you the help and justice that is needed. I'm Haley Kennedy.